the dove and the ant. Annette was walking back to her home after a day's work. She walked along the bank of the stream. But suddenly, she slipped and fell into the stream. The ant was petrified and tried to look for something to hold on to. She then realized that she was sailing with the stream, away from her home. The ant panicked and started crying out loud, Help! Help! Please help me! The dove was watching all this from a nearby tree. Thinking smartly the dove plucked some leaves from the tree and dropped it into the water near the struggling ant. The ant climbed safely over the leaf and reached the shore safely. The ant was grateful to the dove and thanked him. The dove replied, It is my duty to help someone in need. I am glad I could be of help to you. Then the dove flew into the open sky. A few days later, the ant was walking through the forest. She noticed a hunter with a gun. He was aiming his gun at a pretty bird sitting on a tree. The ant immediately recognized the dove and ran towards the hunter. As the hunter was about to pull the trigger of his gun, the ant climbed up his shoes and bit him on the leg. The hunter shouted in pain and missed his aim. The dove flew away from the tree. The dove was saved just in time. The ant walked away happily as she able to help the dove in return. Moral of the story, one good turn deserves another. Every good deed we do for others will surely come back to us. The Lazy Donkey A salt merchant lived in a small village. Every day, he walked to the city to buy salt. His donkey accompanied him. The merchant loaded the bags of salt on the donkey, and they walked back to the village along the river. But the donkey did not like to carry so many bags on his back as he was lazy. The donkey always looked for ways to get rid of work. One day, the salt merchant loaded the donkey with two bags of salt, and they started walking back to the village. On the way, the donkey accidentally slipped into the river. The salt dissolved in the water and when the donkey was pulled out of the river, he felt lighter. The salt merchant had to go back to the city to buy more salt. The donkey thought of this as a good idea to get rid of the load. The next day, the donkey intentionally slips into the river. When he was pulled out, he felt lighter. The salt merchant understood the donkey trick. He knew that donkey was falling in the river on purpose. So, one day the salt merchant filled the bag with cotton instead of salt. The donkey felt that the bags were much lighter than previous days, but the donkey wished to reduce the weight even more. So the donkey again fell into the river. But when he was pulled out, the load on his back felt much heavier. As the bag contained cotton, when it fell into the water along with the donkey, the cotton observed the water and the bag become heavier. The donkey had to pick up the heavier load. It realized his mistake and understood that the same measures will not suit all circumstances. He had learned his lesson. Moral of the story, you can befool a person a few times but not always. Those who are too clever sometimes overreach themselves and get trapped at their own risk. Thanks for watching. 